Hey everyone, this is Steve from Star Wars Makes Things Better, and I wanted to show off another classified series sized vehicle that I 3D printed, and that is Zartan's Chameleon. Let's take a look. So as you can see in the pictures here, I 3D printed a chameleon for Zartan and the size is pretty spot on. Uh, the files that I found were on Thingiverse and I printed it out and painted it up. This 3D print is all resin and the body itself is solid. So it's a pretty hefty, pretty heavy uh, vehicle. Um, each one of the pieces was painted and then glued together. So the pieces that you would need to print would be the body itself, which is right here in the middle, the green and black, the bright green and black. Then the next piece is this railing, the frame down here underneath. You've got the motor right here that is also a part of that frame. And then you've got the front set of, um, what would these be called? just the uh, the skis, the front set of skis and the back set of skis, and then also the handle here. Now I glued it together pretty solid so the handle doesn't turn and the skis don't turn either, but I'm using this mostly for display and for picture taking, so I'm not worried about the handles turning or anything. Here's another shot from the front. You can see how it all fits together and uh, it's the one thing about this that I would say is where the skis connect to the body. If I were to go back and redesign this, I would probably make it a little bit more uh, permanent, something that, that fits together just a little bit better. But for the most part, this was a, a pretty great print. Um, I'll put the files, I'll put a link to the files in the description so that if this is something that you wanted to 3D print, you could uh, find those files. This is a shot from the back side, and you can see uh, once again the skis from the back end, and it's a little bit blurry, but the back end right here with the uh, engine and then also these little... I don't know even know what you would call these on the back side. Let's take a look from here. These little pointy things on the back side. They just they look really nice. It, it, it's really a well designed print. And when you pr paint it up with uh, that bright green along with the darker green and the black, it all pops really nice in the pictures that you can take. Uh, here's a shot from the top. You can see that how it all fits together. There are a couple of notches on the bottom. Uh, both right in this area on the bottom and right in this area where it's pretty easy to see where the frame will glue to the body itself. Here's another shot from the side. Got a pretty good look of look at everything right there. And uh, there are some other details. Yeah, they're little, little details like right here on the skis and right here that I probably would weather up probably weather it up a little bit, make it look a little bit more uh, used. I also at some point in time think I want to um, get some decals with the little uh, chameleon Zartan decal or something and put it right there. Maybe also something on the backside, maybe a little bit of a paint job uh, to give it just a little bit more character um, to fit in with Zartan and the uh, Dreadnoughts as well. Uh, here is the figure itself sitting on top of it. It's uh, like I said, the scale is pretty good. Now, the one thing I didn't do, I know in the original Zartan figure, you could take the chameleon apart and then he could drag drag it behind him in this big box. I, I didn't print anything like that. I didn't want to be able to take this apart. It's all glued together. Um, but all in all, I am super satisfied with this. Here you can see again that uh, Zartan standing next to the chameleon. The, the scale is pretty spot on for uh, these classified series figures. So I thought if I, you know, I wanted to take pictures with these. So I went to a park that's close to me and took some pictures there as well. Here's Zartan sitting on top of the chameleon, which is, uh, which is pretty nice. It's like I said, it's solid and uh, I love the scale. So here's one of the pictures that I took at the park. I used a little bit of uh, 
uh, blast effects, some of those air guns, if you will, to uh, splash the water up behind him. So it looks like he's actually moving through the water. And uh, I thought that turned out pretty nice. I was pretty pleased with that. I will say that I took picture after picture after picture trying to get one just right and uh, using burst shots i was able to get this one so pretty pleased with that if you want to take a look at that um on instagram like i said uh, i am star wars makes things better on instagram i gotta come up with a better name i may change my name at some point in time but i think that i've been using that for so long it's just it's just way too long. So maybe I'll change it to the initials, just SWMTB. But uh, anyways, there's my picture of Zartan. And I took one more picture. There it is of him just sitting there on the chameleon, just kind of chilling. And uh, I thought that turned out really nice as well. So this is my 3D printed chameleon for my G.I. Joe classified Zartan figure. And I think it turned out pretty great. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear if you liked it, if you don't like it, if it's something that you wanted to print, if you've got questions for me, um, do all the YouTube things like share, subscribe, um, love to get more subscribers. I think I'm just below 100 when I uh, post this video. If I can get to 100 subscribers, that would be the satisfaction for me if somebody sees this and wants to subscribe. And then from there, I'll shoot for another one. But if this is something that you had enjoyed, maybe take a look at some of my pictures on Instagram as well. What, like I said, I am Star Wars makes things better on Instagram. And uh, my name is Steve. Hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully you have a great day.